stock in this, which is not so cheap nowadays. I have to do it 98. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you can't hear the microphone because of the engine sound and the wind. But uh, I'm going on a beautiful spring day on a trip on the beautiful Tidewagen uh, across uh, Orgosund and uh, Strömsund. brown sign with a white flower means it's a tourist road uh, which might be of particular inter interest for tourists. So just take a right here and you will be on Tidewagen which goes all the way through and starts having some nice motorcycle cars. maybe a little bit illegal because Johannesberg airport it's like a hobby airport uh, but it's only maybe three or four kilometers from here uh, but the drone was only at 10 meters height so I think it's okay come to Tide uh, Slot, the castle of Tide, uh, but not today. Also the big Rettona church ruin, a bit from here, uh, but I'm not passing that today. New Rettona church. Uh, yeah, so this church ruin and an other was replaced by this, the Rettona church, which is still in use. Another one of those, what did we call them? Hillforts. Thorbe Borg. Borg means fort. We already saw a couple of these hillforts in previous logs, video blogs, but uh, they are so fascinating, these hillforts, and they are everywhere. And I 
as I mentioned earlier, probably inaudible, <laughs> uh, this road to the wagon is a popular motorcycle. There are motorcycles everywhere here yeah, during spring, summer, and winter. the wagon just before Strömsholm we pass Borgosön where you can stop for a bit of Swedish fika. Over there where I pointed my finger is the Strömsholm uh, castle. And, but it's not visible in the GoPro. Video. And over to my left here is the famous riding school of Strömsholm where I currently teach horse jumping and also train teachers teach children to ride horses and so on, but until 1968 they had a war, they trained war horses here. Uh, and if you think about it, a horse is a little bit like a motorcycle. Instead of an iron horse, it's a meat horse. Ah, and over here is the old what do you call it, where they trained the war horses in Sweden up from the 1600s to 1968. And then on the other side of the castle was a military training field. The Lötfeldtet or something like that. And to my right here is the horse community in Västmanland County. Their <laughs> central high headquarters. And uh, to my left is the riding school, and just behind is the veterinary, so where the train is going over there. If you take a left there, you get to the veterinary. For different animals, they have a few houses. In Strömsholm, Sweden's first stud farm was established in 1621. Uh, in 1654, the farm was gifted away to Crown Prince Carl Gustav, and he hired uh, Nicodemus de Sien, the elder, to create the drawings for the castle. Uh, and they began to build the castle, but they didn't finish it until 1741. And the biggest business over here has been to train remount horses, or in Sweden, remont horses. Uh, so that's young horses that we trained. Uh, and then sold to the military when they were the two horses were between three and six years old. Uh, but of course, there have been many other horse-related activities here over the years, and the best horse jumpers in Sweden still train here. Of course, they don't call them call themselves horse jumpers. That would be silly. This is a fancy game. So they call themselves equestrians. So. And uh, over here, uh, once a year, there's of course the Swedish Grand National uh, Horse Racing Competition. Something mounted lifeguard regiment's grenadier corpse practice area. 